Hey everybody, it is December 10th, um, it's about 3.30 in the morning, even though I have to get up in about two and a half hours, I really felt God just telling me to make a blog about what's been running through my head the last hour, hour and a half. Um, so I was thinking very heavily about James 1.17 because I was, I read it earlier today and it really... Like it just there was such revelation that I received from it so I'll read it to you guys every good gift and every perfect gift is from above coming down from the father of lights with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change of his own will he brought us forth by the word of truth that we would be kind of his first fruits of his creatures So, in my point of view, I would like to see more, more rock for rock music in the church. Um, everybody who knows me knows I, I play electric guitar. I love playing electric guitar. Um, I'll play worship music. There's no difference. I like playing worship music and I like making rock music. and. I plan on making rock music for God. Um, I plan on making prophecies, parables, and worship music, and it's all going to be for God. It's not going to be for myself. Um, but I believe there's an attack on my life. I believe with these giftings from God, the enemy sees it and he attacks those people so greatly. Um, if you have a gifting with dance or any of the arts or you have a gifting with speech, if you have a gifting, period, that is influential to everyone around you. In one way or another, you, you have the power to influence with your gifting. And if you use it for God he see, and he sees that, you have the power to change the place around you. And the devil's really got that down. Is who he steals the most and what happens is you get really religious people and I'm speaking from my heart right now I watched a uh, I've been doing a lot of research on uh, old old artists like Eric Clapton he started out in Christ for the nations and I'm not sure about everything that happened with him but I'm pretty sure that in that time they didn't want to hear that kind of music being played in their churches because they were not even okay with pianos at the time that he wanted to go into blues and rock and roll and the Beatles on one of their interviews I remember them speaking about they were speaking out about um, how their mission is to bring down Christianity and I've been really asking God why why would the Beatles want to bring down Christianity or even say, why would John Lennon say something like that? Because of pain, I believe. Because somebody, someone hurt them and they went out into the world. And it's the attack of the enemy, the offense that can be built up in the heart of people that have these amazing, powerful giftings. And there's this offense built up and then they go out into the world and most of the time they're not, they're probably not going to come back so this is what's been on my mind for about an hour and a half um i want to play in churches and outside of churches i want to have the same uh influence that jesus had i want to be i want to be one of his ministers I want to be a follower of the living God like Daniel in his day Daniel even with not uh, non-jewish people around him in Babylon the hell like the um, worst the horror of earth at its time even the people in Babylon they wouldn't question Daniel because they they would know that the living God is with that man with his giftings you can't you can't go up against someone who's speaking out these things and then they come about like that it's just, it's just impossible to go up against someone's giftings when they're from God that strong not not that he could have not fallen or something it's just Daniel stayed on the path and I've been praying a lot for God to um, 
give me a ministry like Billy Graham. Billy Graham never fell. He never, from what I know, he never got involved with a woman and he just stayed the course and he was very public about everything and he was just a warrior for God. I want to pray for anybody watching this blog with uh, giftings. Musical giftings, dance giftings, art giftings, um, speaking gifting, um, compassionate gifting, like any anything inside their heart that they can give to others. I want to pray over you guys because you guys have power over na a nation, a nation that has fallen away from its, its becoming indoctrinated by the media, which is based off giftings. But they're not more powerful than us. If we follow a living God, they're powerless. They might have their anointings and their giftings, but they, they're not using them for It's just counterfeit. If you're walking with the living God, if you are living and breathing with the living God, they have nothing compared to you. So I just want to pray over you guys. Father, I just pray protection over your people tonight, over their dreams, over their visions, over their relationships and their family. In this city, God, in Cleveland, Ohio, and you know what, in America, in the world, God. Anybody watching this video, I just want to pray over you guys. I pray that you use your giftings to influence the world around you and to show the love that Jesus showed in every ministry possible, in and outside the church, God. God, make these people vessels for your will. Amen. God bless you guys. Hope you guys are having a very nice holiday. <laughs> Christmas is coming. And yeah, just keep me in your prayers. God's doing a lot in my heart right now. Yeah. Intercede for your cities. That's it. Bye bye.